Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to take a look at how to quickly and easily spin up a local web server. So if you're working on a website and you want to open that up in the browser, sometimes it can be a pain to download programs like MAMP or to do an entire setup of Apache or something like that. It's kind of overkill if you just want to quickly glance at it. I think the quickest and easiest way to do this is with Python's built-in simple HTTP server. Now you will have to have Python installed, but if you're on a Mac, then that's going to already be installed for you. So let's take a look at how to do this. First of all, you want to open up your terminal. So I have two terminal windows open up here. And then you want to navigate to where your website is. So for example, I have a website here in the sites directory, and then demos, and then test site. Then if I look at the contents of this folder, then the file that I want to take a look at is actually in this dist folder here. So I'm going to cd into that directory. And now if I do an ls in that folder, then you can see here where we have the index.html file. Now to spin up a quick local web server and to view this file in the browser, all you have to do is type in python-m simple HTTP server. And then you want to type in, by default, it's going to be port 8000, but I always type it in just to be sure. So you type in the port number there. So hit enter. And you can see here in this terminal window, it says serving HTTP on port 8000. So now if I go over here into my browser and type in localhost and then go to port 8000 and hit enter, now you can see it opens up that test website uh, within the browser. So our local web server is running. If you come over here into the terminal, then you can see that it actually gives you some information too about what the web server is doing. So you can see here that it did a get request on the root, gave a 200 response, and then you can see where it goes and requests the different uh, CSS files and JavaScript files and things like that. Now you can minimize this terminal window here, but be sure to keep it open because that is what's running your web server. So you don't want to close that down or else it'll close the web server down. Now the thing I like about this method is that it's so easy to uh, spin up another server on a and listen on another port. Uh, so for example, if I go to this other demo that I have uh, called sample map, if I see the end of that directory and then ls, you can see I have my index.html file here. And so this other web server is still running here in the background. So I can do python-m http HTTP server and I can do this on whatever port I want. I'll just pick a random port 8044, hit enter there. So now you can see that it's serving on port 8044. So if I go up here and go to localhost port 8044, hit enter. And now that website has uh, is now running in the browser on that local web server listening on that port. And now if you want to close down these web servers, all you got to do is either close out of the terminal window or within the terminal window. You can also hit control C. You can see that it'll send a keyboard interrupt there. And now if I try to reload that page, then uh, that server is no longer running. And if I do it up here as well and try to reload this page, then you can see that uh, it's no longer listening on that port. So you can see how a method like this is a lot faster than uh, downloading a program like MAMP or trying to set up Apache or something like that just to quickly look at your website within the browser. So that about does it for this video. Um, hopefully you guys found this quick tip useful, um, but if you do have any questions then just ask in the comments section below. Um, be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you guys for watching.